starting off with two opening outs. He moves into a left turn underarm and takes her into an arabesque movement running around her. After this traveling arabesque, he will take over his hand to the other side to be able to lead it into a drop, from there into a spiral action. Afterwards into an outside leaning ronde with an off-balance feeling. That concludes the moment into a pulled-in T-line. Releasing the tension and rolling out to the right-hand side with an articulation in foot and leg will take her out into a running back, followed by a kukuracha for finishing up. The following clip I organized it five times in a row because it's very difficult to see sometimes how the transition of the hand from one side to the other side of the body is going to be followed. Here you can see very clearly that he takes over this hand to be able to have a good position getting her into the drop afterwards. Here you can see that the legs go one by one after the ronde. Watch the arrow. You see the hand under the right shoulder of Victoria, where Sergei takes her out of this situation into a position where he can optimize his movement and lead for the next following actions. With this following effect, I could overlay the films and therefore we can see two times the same dance couple moving the same motion. Inside this, we see that they are happening sometimes different things like the right arm of Victoria, where you see a little difference here in bending the arm. If you're aware of these effects, use them, they are good. We are ending this first video of mine with a spectacular figure. Sergei starts off with two kukurachas to the side and crosses back after. He does a spiral action and then he's moving with a wide step and wide lunge forward to pick her up. After picking her up, she starts lifting the leg into a high ronde and that concludes in a very fast split in between his legs. She hooks herself inside to be able to stand there and also to move the left leg into the right position. From then on, he will help her getting up and rotate her into a spiral action, which will be finalized by a three-step turn to the side and concludes the whole choreography. Once again, you see this in real time. In this combination, there is the position very important. The positioning in between the legs when she's doing the high ronde can be fatal when she's not really on balance. There are two things to point out. One is the standing leg of the girl and second is the positioning towards each other. Here you see it in slow motion. The front foot of him is very close to her standing leg. At the same time you see a gap between the two bodies. 
after there will be the centrifugal force taking over and it's very likely that they can fall over because of a wrong balancing. In the second slow motion you see that her standing leg is right in center. The gap is not there anymore in between the bodies. The centrifugal force takes over but is not as strong and therefore they can be right on balance. Of course they made it two times because they are very good dancers but just in general watch your standing leg and your balance as well as how you stand together.